Well, the way it works in, in most countries is that uh, they, they set up a deposit that's maybe 15 cents per bottle or per can, uh, aluminum can, glass bottle, whatever it might be, or maybe 25 cents. And uh, that's paid at the store when the consumers buy these uh, the drinks or other containers. And, um, and, and then they get it back uh, if, they, if they bring it back. And the point of that is to avoid uh, litter and to recycle more. It's an encouragement for the consumers to recycle because they only get the refund back again if they, if they uh, bring it back to the store. Uh, but I would point out that's a, a, some trouble for the households. They, they have to collect all the bottles and cans. Uh, they, uh, they have to bring them back to the store. They have to wait to count 15 cents for this bottle, 15 cents for that bottle, or they have machines at the store, but those are costly also. And then for the other recycling, the household has to uh, separate the newspapers from the glass or other kinds of glass containers and aluminum or newspapers or whatever it might be, plastic. So uh, it really might work more efficiently uh, to, uh, to have it all collected at the curb, perhaps all in one container, and leave the effort for the recycling plant to be able to do the separation. They can do it more, uh, more efficiently, more accurately, and not put that burden on the households. But you still can have a deposit refund system to help pay for that because uh, the deposit can still be collected at the store quite easily. And then those funds can be used to subsidize the recycling plant per ton of plastic or per ton of glass or newspapers. So that's, a, you know, that's the circular economy that gets those materials back into production. Uh, and uh, it's a revenue neutral if you use the deposit revenue to pay this refund. But the, but the refund goes to the recycling plant. They have incentive to go collect it from the households. They can do it more efficiently. And the households don't have to take in each of these bottles and count them one at a time to get their 15 cents back. So we make it easier for the people. Well, that would be uh, that would be one of the goals. I, I think the the politicians uh, in the past have found it easy to to put that burden on the households because they think it's free. But it, of course, the household's time is not really free. It's it's part of the social cost of doing that um, uh, recycling, and uh, those costs should be taken into account.